Arizona State has hired Brian Billick, former Baltimore Ravens head coach, as an offensive analyst and advisor to head coach Herm Edwards. So all of that talk in the offseason, or I guess the preseason before college football this year, about whether or not Arizona State was going to keep Herm Edwards, uh, I think we have certainly gotten our answer. Like They're going to have to get rid of some guys due to show causes and whatever else. There's still some guys that are suspended on administrative leave for a while. But, uh, but you know, we they've already got Marvin Lewis, who is also an advisor to the head coach. Um, Billick's 67 years old. He's been an analyst for NFL Network for a while. Uh, this is, you know, it's turning into uh, an NFL program <laughs> at Arizona State. Uh, this is... Uh, this is a bit of a strange move, but it's certainly turning into like a, a cush retirement job for some of these old NFL heads, right? Does this surprise you at all? I don't know how cush of a job it is. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet Billy's gonna end up being responsible and working harder at this than was at the, you know. Oh, an NFL Network for sure, but it, that's the, the NFL thing. Network. He and Lewis aren't actually stuff. they're they're not on staff coaches. They're just advisors. So they're they're sitting in an office and. And uh, and going over film basically. Oh, they're analysts, okay. Yes, all yes. right. And you you understand what analysts are because you're a Bama fan. You know <laughs> that that's bullshit. They're absolutely one hundred percent coaches. That's uh, so. That is the plan. They're not supposed to be on the field coaching. Uh, everybody, I, I understand but, that. But yeah, I understand that. But Nick Saban took an analyst that's supposed to have never had any contact with any player whatsoever, and in one week made him the OC of a national championship game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, do we think he did that without any, you know, relationship at all with the players? With the let's let's steer this back onto Arizona State. Let's okay. go. <laughs> right. okay. I, I think this is a weird hire. That's I what think I think. Really, like, is Brian Billick is is Brian Billick the direction that of football that we you want your program going? He he last coached with the Ravens in two thousand seven. Yeah. So I was in college still. Yeah, I mean, what, a long time ago. That's fourteen years. What? No, I guess fifteen. Twenty 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 two now. Uh, I mean, the NFL is completely, completely shifted over. Like Herm Edwards when he was bringing in young upstart guys. That's when we thought Arizona State was, you know, maybe headed in the but, right direction. But, but here's the difference: he brought in those young upstart guys. He had a coup on his hands. Some of those guys were pretty ambitious and wanted his job. True. All right? And and then he also got in a lot of NCAA trouble. So I guess now we're bringing a bunch of old bastards who aren't creative at all, and they're just going to do whatever I tell them. Yeah, I don't, I don't, think, that's, uh, I don't think that's wrong. Billick last coached in college football at Stanford in 1991. <laughs> this, this is what his statement said. Uh, I love what they're doing at Arizona, uh, at Arizona State. It's all about structuring the NFL, and hopefully that's what I can bring to the table at ASU. My work for the last 12 years in television at Fox and NFL Network has allowed me to take a step back and see the game from a different angle. It broadened my perspective, and this is what I will bring to this position. Well, I, I hope it works because I like her. And I oh, yeah. thought Herm being hired there was going to be a huge embarrassing failure, and he's been a million times better than I could have ever imagined or been. Oh, so, yes, yes. We were way right. I hope, him. I hope Billick is an asset, and I hope Herm continues to have success at Arizona State because because I, I like Herm in spite of the fact that it made me wrong. Like, I, <laughs> I just don't care. I like Herm. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. He's, uh, hey, I, I'm going through some stuff for, uh, for the Bet U.S. College Football Show. Um, Herm, as an underdog, since he got there in 2018, uh, twelve and six against the number. So and yeah, he's, that isn't surprising. He's I mean, I, I knew it was going to be a big number. Oh yeah, now he's he, he hadn't been an underdog often, uh, but twelve and six. I mean, that's sixty six percent, man. That's somebody you can count on to uh, to cash for you. All right. Well, yeah, eighteen years and what eighteen games in four years? He's been an underdog. Uh, I, I guess that'd be in. Is it five or is it four? 2018, 19, oh, 20, 21. Oh, no, it's four. It's four seasons. Four seasons. You're right. So four, four seasons. 18 games and four seasons, though, right? I mean, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's, uh, that's, he's, not, that's not catching points many. Nope. It's, uh, for Arizona State, it's definitely not many. It's maybe four times a year. So that's uh, that's a little surprise. And they did not catch points very often this year. I, I definitely know that. They were set up this year. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.